Happy Women's Day, everyone. This day is when we celebrate tremendous amount of achievements of women leaders across the world, of every woman in our lives, in our society. It is also a day which acts and should act as a reminder for all of us that a lot more needs to be done. At Brilio, we have made significant progress over the last few years, and I'm very pleased to um, sort of see that we have been awarded recently for the work that we have done on diversity. But at the same time, I think there is uh, also a need for us to commit in, in a, a lot more aggressive way towards this empowerment of women leaders. And uh, on this day, I know we are making a pledge that all of our male leaders, um, you know, all the male colleagues actually will um, will do certain things differently. And I'm very pleased to sort of, you know, to sort of hear about this commitment from all of our male leaders. So here are the three things that I do uh, that hopefully, you know, can uh, maybe uh, act as an input uh, for all of you. Uh, first, uh, internalize. You want to uh, support women leaders. You want to, um, you know, uh, make sure that, you know, your environment actually is right. You want to sort of commit to sort of making sure that, you know, you build a very diverse team, very diverse, you know, sort of broader team. Um, not because it looks good or because, you know, uh, something that, you know, we can go get an award for, right? I think you want to do this because it just makes you a better team. It just makes you a better leader. It just makes you a better company. And in my opinion, you know, uh, you want to do this because this is the only way forward. This is the only way we get better. Uh, and once you start doing that, I think uh, it becomes much easier for us to commit um, to sort of making sure that um, that not only we focus on diversity, but also um, making sure that, you know, our, our, our place actually becomes a you know, place where everyone thrives. The second one, um, you know, I think that is, you know, that I've seen um, as an issue and also, um, you know, a, a sort of passive discrimination, right? And, you know, passive discrimination to me, the biggest part of that is that you don't want to think any less of them. Right. You don't want to have this mentality that um, they can and cannot do uh, certain things, uh, you know, just because of, you know, um, gender difference, right, etc. And that I think is important, uh, you know, uh, one to consider because uh, I, I, I truly believe that, um, you know, women around us are equally or more capable and therefore, uh, you really want to make sure that everyone enjoys equal challenge and opportunity. Uh, and once we start doing that, I think um, the place becomes, um, you know, our, our sort of, you know, everything uh, becomes, you know, a lot more, a um, um, uh, lot more progressive. And I think we actually can, uh, you know, deliver, in my opinion, much better results. And the last thing that I would say is um, be the real support. Okay. And... You know, uh, our workplaces, our, our sort of work, our policies, etc. while we are making certain changes in, you know, in flex hours and, you know, and making sure there are some facilities available to women, you know, uh, in our workplaces. But we still have a long way to go. And, and while, you know, the revolution wouldn't happen overnight, but we have to sort of, you know, make sure that our workplace, our conference calls, you know, our evening get-togethers, etc., continue to be a place where our women colleagues actually feel very comfortable and not only feel comfortable, they find it a place uh, where they actually thrive. So um, uh, these three, I think, are, are sort of, you know, um, the areas that I always remember and I make sure that, uh, um, you know, that uh, in, in my operating principle, uh, you know, I continue to follow them. So I hope uh, all of my male colleagues, uh, you know, today uh, will think about that and they will have their own three things as well, you know, um, so that we can make more progress on this front. With that, once again, I want to wish um, a very happy Women's Day to, uh, to everyone. Um, I think it's uh, such a phenomenal day and I hope everyone celebrates. Thank you.